Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make a mayonnaise from scratch. You can absolutely use a blender and some people would argue that it's easier, but I am old fashioned. I want you to know how to do it by hand. So um, you wanna start with a bowl. If you don't have a friend to help you out, um, you can secure the bowl using a damp towel by just making a kind of nest for it and then putting the bowl inside the nest. Um, we're gonna start with one egg yolk in the bottom. So one egg yolk will theoretically um, emulsify up to one cup of oil, but you're kind of pushing it a little bit. So as an insurance policy, I would up probably the egg yolks to two for one cup of oil, or today we're just gonna do a half a cup of oil. And also what, what really helps on the emulsion hold is, this is a little bit of a cheat, but it really does work, is a little bit of Dijon mustard will help things um, emulsify. So I just add a tiny bit. It's not gonna add too much flavor, but it's gonna be kind of that insurance policy. I also want to add more liquid at the beginning so that the egg yolk really has a chance to kind of fully come in contact with the oil um, to start the emulsification. So I'm going to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. You could use um, lemon juice, whatever you prefer. And I'm going to add my salt right now as well. And then um, I would use a balloon whisk, one of these whisks that balloon out to the side. Um, it's going to get a little bit more air into it. So what you wanna do is first start just whisking it up and then drop by drop, we're gonna add the oil to start. And once you see it start to thicken, then you can breathe a little sigh of relief because then you can start pouring your oil a little faster. It's really incredible actually. We're gonna be taking what's very much of a liquid right here and adding a liquid and we're gonna be making a semi-solid, um, which is pretty cool. Um, if for some reason it should break, and by breaking I mean that you can see the oils separating out and it's just liquidy and it's not getting thick, one way to save it would be to take a fresh clean bowl, put another egg yolk in it with some mustard and start that part, just the mustard and the egg yolk, whisk that and then take the broken sauce and drop by drop add that and then you can try to save it. Or you can put it in a blender and the mechanical action of the blender might help re-emulsify the sauce. So, okay, so miss whisking here and then very slowly going to drop by drop. What you're looking for is you want it to start lightening in color, starting to thicken up a little bit. And when that happens, like I said, you can start pouring a little bit more freely, but we're not quite there yet. It's starting to get a little bit thick right now, but I got a little bit more way to go before I feel like I can free pour. I'm gonna stop right here because this is the point where I feel comfortable pouring a little bit faster. And can you see I'm leaving like a line with the whisk? And that means that our emulsion has started. It's starting to thicken up. So most of the risk of it breaking, we're past that right now. That being said, you wanna keep whisking quickly when you add the rest of the oil. Okay, so we're done making the mayonnaise. And it's thickened right up on the whisk. And because we're using raw egg yolks here, you probably wouldn't want to serve this to, to babies or the immune compromised or the very old. Um, I tend to use mayonnaises that are from made from scratch within 24 hours. Um, and this is gonna be fabulous. It's gonna be way better than most purchased mayonnaises. That being said, Best Foods mayonnaise is pretty darn good. So. As a substitute, I would do that. But why I like making my own mayonnaise is because I can infuse some flavors into it. Sometimes I'll add saffron, I'll add different herbs, spices, different things to it. That's how you make a mayonnaise. Oh, we're filming. Thanks for watching my videos. My name is Becky Selengut. I uh, really appreciate you hanging out here with me for a little while. Feel free to check out my website at www.beckyselengut.com or either of my cookbooks I've written, uh, Good Fish and Shroom, and I'm working on a new one called How to Taste. And what else can I tell you? Um, if you liked any of the silly dad humor or humor in any of my videos, feel free to check out my comedy podcast, Look Inside This Book Club, and check a look at, take a look at all the uh, other videos that I have on my channel. Thanks so much. Cheers.